it's your girl Manny 2.0 and I am back here with another video for you guys. Shout out to all my real ones. If you are a real one, then that means you're subscribed to this beautiful, lovely channel. And if you are not, then yeah, something is clearly wrong with you because you clearly have yet to hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notified about all your girl upcoming videos. Period. Alright y'all, so as you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be a story time. Y'all, how this dude had bad freaking bugs. Bruh. <laughs> y'all already know I do not like long intros. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this story time for y'all. Period. Like, roll the motherfucking scene, goddamn <laughs> Alright y'all, so when I was like 20, 21... I used to talk to this guy. We gonna name him Cedric. I don't know why the name Cedric just came to my damn head. <laughs> but anyway, we gonna name him Cedric. So I used to talk to this guy when I was like 20, 21. We gonna name him Cedric for this story time, y'all, right? So at the time of talking to Cedric, I used to work at the hospital. Keep that in mind. I used to work at the hospital. And so I used to basically get off late, y'all. I used to get off work at 11.30 at night, 11.30 p.m. So basically, when I would get off work a lot of nights, I would just go to Cedric's house, like go over there, shower, watch TV, watch him play the game, we'll smoke, relax. So you know, we eventually go to sleep. And in the morning, he would go to work. I would go back home because I didn't have to be to work till like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah. That's how my weeks would consist with us uh, consist of with Cedric. Just me getting off work and basically going to his house a lot of times after work, hanging with him and shit. And then on weekends, of course, you know, we'll hang out too because we both were off on the weekend. So that would be our time to like actually do things. So you know, like go out to eat, go places, do different things, stuff like that. Now, mind you, of course, like I just told y'all. I get off work at 11.30 p.m. By the time I would get to Cedric House, it would always, it would almost be midnight, basically. So every time I would go to Cedric's house, I would always spend the night over there. Keep that in mind. I would always spend the night at Cedric's house. It would never really be a time where we would just pull up, talk, or just vibe, and I would go. I would always stay the night at Cedric's house, right? So like I told y'all, I would go to Cedric's damn near every day when I got off from work at the hospital right so this one night in particular I get off work and I go to Cedric's house and it's the same old same old because like I told y'all this is what we always did we would just vibe when I got off work chill you know talk watch tv whatever y'all know so this particular night well I remember this shit it's so crazy I remember this shit we was chilling in the bed and I remember him playing his game and me just kind of being in my phone, you know, Facebook, Instagram, scrolling or whatever. He doing his own little thing. I'm doing my own little thing. And I remember we were smoking at the same time too. So eventually or whatever, you know, the blunt goes out or whatever. I lay down. Now at this point, now I'm just kind of laying down in my phone and I'm kind of scratching but at the time that I'm scratching, it wasn't nothing major. It just felt like a itch, you know, a common little, a little scratch, you know. So every now and then while I'm just laying in the bed, y'all, I'm just on my phone. I just a little, you know. Oh, so y'all, me, because like I said at first, it wasn't nothing crazy right it just felt like a little we all done itched before right maybe a little dry skin i remember he done playing the game like i said we done smoke it's already late at night we both got work the next day woo -de -woo -de -woo. so he goes to finally lay down or whatever right and i had kind of noticed like call me crazy y'all but i know i'm not crazy i had kind of noticed like he was up for a while and y'all may be like well what do you mean he was up for a while this is somebody that had to be to work like at seven o'clock in the morning and he was just up it was like he was just up like he was refusing to lay down well i don't want to say refuse but you know like that nigga was just trying to stay up and play that motherfucking game and i'm just like 
he ain't laid down yet, but okay, maybe he just all up into his game tonight. But yeah, the nigga did not lay down for a while. So it was finally, y'all, probably like two o'clock in the morning. He finally decides to lay down, but he low-key looking like he don't even want to lay down. So, yeah, keep all of what I'm saying in mind, right? So he finally lays down, y'all, and we laying in the bed. And mind you, the whole time he playing the game, I'm still getting a little itch every now and then, right? So now he done finally laid down or whatever. Y'all, he lay down in the bed. Lights go off or whatever. You know we trying to get our little Z's in or whatever. Lights out nighty night time. Y'all. Please tell me why. Mm-mm. 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 Ain't no more little bitch I might got eczema. Look at these bumps. We got eczema. I got what? The eczema. <laughs> bitch, ain't no eczema. Bitch, at this point, I am literally like... Like... And so, y'all, I'm from the South. I keep telling y'all, I'm from the country. Like, where I stay at, at um, a certain seasons and certain temperatures, the mosquitoes will eat your ass alive. Bruh. They will eat your ass alive. Do you hear me? So, I'm just thinking, because, of course, I done had this happen to me before. I'm thinking, okay, maybe, like, a mosquito done got inside the house. You know, while the door was open. Mosquito slid in the house and maybe it's some mosquito in here and you know they so tiny you can't you can barely see the motherfuckers I'm thinking maybe a mosquito done flew in the house and maybe that's what keep biting my ass and it just keep flying away so now y'all at this point I'm literally laying in the bed trying to be silent and still and not move to see I'm talking about to see bitch to hear if I'm gonna hear the little, you know her little annoying ass mosquito sound, that little ee, trying to hear, you know what I'm saying, and see if I'm gonna hear that sound or whatever, right? I don't never hear no little mosquito noise, but yet I'm still itching, and I done told y'all, I done figured out, bitch, and I eczema. Y'all, I can't get comfortable. I can't get comfortable, of course, because I'm steady itching, and whole time, Cedric, remember I told y'all Cedric ass was acting like he did not want to fucking go to bed that motherfucking night. When Cedric laid down, y'all, I noticed he was like tossing and turning and, uh, and kind of itching and moving and doing all of this type shit. Keep that in mind. So like I say, y'all, I don't never hear no mosquito. I don't never hear no like, ee, and I'm just itching. I'm just itching, y'all. I'm just itching. So y'all, it had probably got to about, I want to say like four o'clock in the morning, right? Out of nowhere, Cedric basically kind of like taps me and tells me, hey, like get up or whatever. And so, you know, I get up. I think I was even asleep, bitch. Yeah, we gonna get to it. We gonna get to it. But all I remember was Cedric kind of tapping me, like basically telling me to get up or whatever. He got to go somewhere, this, that, and the third. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, that shit was weird as fuck to me because Cedric ain't never just woke me up out my sleep, tapped me or nothing like that, talking about, come on, you got to leave. So I'm like, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. So I'm trying to figure out on some shit like, damn, why the fuck is he throwing me out of here at four o'clock in the morning? Bitch, I'm just laying here. I mean, I know I'm scratching and moving and like, damn, but look, I'll stop. Bruh. I'm like, damn, is, is Cedric throwing me the fuck up out of his house? Like, what, what did I do to you, Cedric? And then the way he was saying it, y'all, it was just like a, oh, I gotta go. I gotta go somewhere. I gotta, I, I got something to do. He was like, yeah, you just, you just gotta get up like right now. Like, yeah, you gotta go. It was just so awkward, y'all. It was so weird. Like, it was weird. Like, so, y'all, you know, I don't argue. I don't get mad or nothing like that. I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, all right. 
So, you know, I get my stuff and I go or whatever. You know, we tell each other bye, hug. So, we'll see each other later, text you, call, you know, all that little bullshit. Get in the car whatever, and I drive home. And, you know, I proceed to go home and go to bed. But I'm noticing, though, when I get to my home, y'all, when I go to bed now, I'm not itching. My God! Wow! Like... As I'm home in my bed, I'm no longer itching. It's like it doesn't feel like I'm still being bit by something. I'm, I'm scratching from old bites, basically, is what it feels like. Like, so I'm like, okay, I'm home now and I'm not being bit no more. So here go me, y'all. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. He did have a mosquito that flew in the house over there. Or oh, hell, maybe two mosquitoes, bitch. Maybe three of them. Four of them hoes, maybe five. <laughs> that is not correct. So, like I say, I'm home. I'm asleep. I get up because, as I tell y'all, I happen to be to work at 3 o'clock. And I worked at the hospital. So, in my mind, when I go to work the next day, because, you know, I'm kind of looking at some of the uh, marks or whatever. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, either something was biting my ass the fuck up last night or because I work at the hospital, you guys, I'm thinking maybe I've had an allergic reaction to something like some type of chemical, maybe somebody done came in here and they got something that you could catch with skin contact. Did I rub against the wrong person or did I catch something contagious? I don't know, y'all. I'm thinking all types of stuff the next day, too. But like I told y'all, me and Cedric talk every day. So the next day, you know, me and Cedric text them and talking or whatever. And I remember y'all, it was probably around like, it's probably around like four o'clock that afternoon. We texting or whatever. And Cedric basically says to me, hey, I want to tell you something. And I'm just like, oh shit. Because usually when somebody just be like, hey, I got to tell you something. Y'all know usually that ain't no motherfucking good news. So I'm just like, what the fuck do he got to say? Especially with you throwing me at your motherfucking house the night before. And y'all, like I said, I was so lost because that was totally out of Cedric's character. So, you know, I'm like, what's up, Ceddy? Like... What you got to tell me? Because you just threw me the fuck out yesterday. Now you now you acting like you cool again. And you talking about you got something to tell me. So what you got to say? Steady P. You feel me? So Cedric then proceeds to text my phone and tell me y'all. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even want to lie to you. Um, I did feel you moving a lot last night. Like you couldn't sleep. And I kept feeling you like... And basically seeing you scratch, basically. And I saw that you couldn't sleep or whatever. Basically, the reason that you were scratching and the reason that you couldn't sleep is because I have bed bugs. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Y'all, don't pick on me. Don't laugh at me. Do not judge me. But... I did not think bed bugs was a real thing. Like, listen, I've never had bed bugs growing up. And I'm not judging or picking on nobody that have had bed bugs. But I've never had bed bugs growing up. I've never spent the night at nobody's house that had bed bugs. I thought bed bugs was fake. If you want me to keep it a stack with you, y'all. <laughs> I did not know bed bugs was a real thing. Like, you know how people be like, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bitch, I thought that was just like a little funny saying. Like, so now y'all with him telling me he had bed bugs, I'm like, it's all starting to make sense now. That's why your ass ain't want to lay the fuck down. That's why you didn't want to lay down, Cedric. That's why you was trying to play that game to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the motherfucking morning. He ain't want to lay down, y'all, because that bitch already knew he had bed bugs. Nigga, if you knew you had a fucking bed bug problem, how the fuck would you invite me over here? So, yeah, y'all, Cedric then proceeds on to say, yeah, that's why I told you um, so early this morning to basically just go ahead and go back home. But I didn't really want to tell you at the time that I had bed bugs, you know, just out loud, like, hey, 
you're getting bit right now by bed bugs. That's why I think you should go home. So yeah, y'all, Cedric was like, yeah, I went and bought me a new mattress today. But y'all, Cedric did get his bed bug problem fixed and he did do it very quickly. I remember because I want to say it was like that weekend we had went somewhere to go get something to eat. And I remember I went over there to his house and me, I'm a nosy bitch. I remember going over there and looking, flipping them sheets back to see was a new merch up. I'm talking about merches. <laughs> to see if a new mattress was purchased. This me, y'all. I'm all with this man's sheets. I don't care. I'm trying to see. This a new mattress. It was, y'all. <laughs> he had bought him a new mattress. Um, and he did say that the exterminator people came out there. So I'm really hoping that they did. And I had been to Cedric's house um again since then. And we ain't had no more bug problems or nothing like that. So I'm more than sure he did call the exterminator people out there. But still, yeah, that's just nasty. You don't do no shit like that. If you think or feel like you have bed bugs, why would you invite somebody to your house too late in their bed with you with bed bugs? Or did you forget that they was there? Or maybe you just wanted my company so bad. I don't know, but still, yeah. Don't do no motherfucking shit like that. It is so crazy because after me and Cedric stopped talking, like we stopped dealing with each other, he created like some imaginary beef in his head with me. Basically, he had like 17 million different Facebook pages, y'all. He would write me on Facebook saying crazy, disrespectful stuff on Snapchat, y'all. I would have to block him. And if I would see him out in the club, y'all, he would do this right here. That is the internet story time of Mr. Seti P, aka Mr. Betty Bug Bug. If you like this story time, you guys, make sure you give it a very big thumbs up. Share with all the cats, the dogs, and all of your neighbors around your neighborhood. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Much love.